Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Nigeria, West Africa and Islamic terrorism. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about uh, Nigeria, West Africa and Islamic terrorism, uh, Dr. Uh, Leonard Madhu. And Dr. Madhu, uh, you are in a real sense no stranger to what we do here uh, at Comments uh, every uh, Sunday morning and Saturday morning. And we're so uh, delighted to uh, have you here once more to uh, talk about what I consider to be a very, very important issue. And that is uh, <clears throat> West Africa. And uh, I think we've done uh, items on West Africa earlier talking about the drug cartels and uh, the real serious threat that that poses to uh, the uh, United States and other areas. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about Nigeria, West Africa, and uh, Islamic terrorism. And so why don't you uh, get us started by simply giving us an overview in terms of uh, Islamic terrorism in uh, Nigeria, West Africa, and, and, and not only there, but in throughout the entire continent of Africa. Thank you. Thank you. As, as usual, I'm glad to be here, you know, to talk about this very important uh, uh, topic in view of uh, what happened, you know, uh, last year, in December last year, you know, the attempted hijacking, uh, which br brought to the fore, you know, the, the problem of Islamic militancy in, in West Africa. Uh, prior to that, you yeah. know, we, we've uh, read about uh, the bombing of American embassies in Tanzania, mm -hmm. you know, in, in Kenya, and, and other places. But the event of last December, you know, crystallized, you know, brought it home mm -hmm. to the United States directly mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of, of the threat mm -hmm. of Islamic militancy. There is a real threat uh, to mm -hmm. the United States, uh, you believe, from, in, in, within that context. Ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the problem is that Islamic militancy and terrorism per se in West Africa has been under the lead, mm -hmm. has been kept under the lead as if it didn't exist. Mm -hmm. But for those, you know, who have been at the receiving end mm -hmm. of, 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 of it, can tell you has been there. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in Nigeria, you know, since, since 1950s, there has been, you know, a continuous slaughter mm -hmm. of, of, of Christians mm -hmm. who live in the northern, northern part of the country mm -hmm. by, by, by a gang of uh, Islamic hordes mm -hmm. uh, from 1954 to up to now, as we speak. Mm -hmm. Uh, that mayhem is still continuing. And the reason, you know, nothing has happened mm -hmm. is because nobody has been prosecuted. Not a single soul mm -hmm. has been prosecuted since then. And it seems to me, though, Dr. Madhu, it, that the world does not know anything about it. I mean, all of these things are going on, yet and still we don't get any kind of information. Now, explain, you know, deal with all of that. A lot of it, you know, concerns uh, internal politics and some also external politics. Uh, if you remember, the Nigeria was under the control of the British colonialists. Uh, when they left, uh, they chose to uh, implant, you know, uh, the Islamic North of the country mm -hmm. in power. Mm -hmm. and, and since then, there has been problems, you know, arising from Islamic militancy. Uh, those Christians who live in northern part of the country, who are predominantly mm -hmm. Igbo, Mm -hmm. or Yorubas have been under, under, under intense pressure, pressure. Mm -hmm. from, from Isla Islamic terrorists. That's what you call them, you know, mm -hmm. since then. Mm -hmm. uh, crystallizing in 1966, when, when several thousands of Nigerian mm -hmm. citizens who predominantly are Christians mm -hmm. and Igbo from the south of the country were slaughtered in mass. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what led, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to... To, to the Nigerian Civil War, mm -hmm. to the secession of the eastern part of the country because they were tired, mm -hmm. you know, of being, of being killed mm -hmm. and nothing done about it. Mm -hmm. We talk of state terrorism. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an example of state terrorism mm -hmm. when, when, when the government, you know, is, 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 yeah, is, is, is complicit is good. Uh -huh. in, the, in the slaughtering of mm -hmm. its own people. Mm -hmm. It's state terrorism, mm -hmm. you know. Now, we in the United States say, okay, you know, mm -hmm. we have several governments that are sponsoring state terrorism mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. But internally, okay. we have internal mm -hmm. state terrorism mm -hmm. as well as external. Mm -hmm. The one in Nigeria has been very internal, you know, because that slaughter has been consistent. Mm -hmm. Right now, as we speak, Christians are, and being Muslims are being slaughtered in Jos, in northern Nigeria. Mm -hmm. This has been going on for the past three weeks, continuously, right now, mm -hmm. as we speak. Yeah. 
and yet, and, and yet it, it seems the world does not know about it or what? Uh, it does not care about it? Or what, what, what are we saying here? Well, because of commercial interests, mm -hmm. you know, the, the British government knew about all this. Even the American government knew about all this, but they couldn't do anything because they said it was British first influence. Mm -hmm. And the British government is more interested in its economic interests, mm -hmm. oil and all, all the rest, and not, you know, about the lives of his mm -hmm. of his citizens, mm -hmm. so it's not a new phenomenon. Okay, and so Dr. Madhu, let us take this uh, first commercial break, and then we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break. Mm -hmm.